Hello friends, welcome back to SmartCoder and we are back with a video and in today's video we will learn how we can deploy our Flutter web application to our AWS hosting. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to just create a bucket in the S3 in the AWS. First you have to go to the S3, then you have to go to the buckets and there you have to click the create bucket. Inside that you have to give the bucket name here and we will give some name, we will give the name of the bucket as a invoice web app because we are going to upload our invoice application which we have developed earlier in our previous videos that we are going to upload here after that you have to keep the settings same here which you can see here and here in the block public access you have to uncheck this one and here you have to tick this one and after that you have to click on the create bucket so here we are getting the error because the same bucket name is already taken by someone else and here we will change it to snippet and we will click on the create bucket. You can see here the bucket has been created here. Now what we have to do, we have to go to our Flutter application and we will generate the build there, web build. So this is our Flutter application. Here we have to run the command and the command will be Flutter build web hyphen hyphen web hyphen renderer then space we have to put it and here we have to put the canvas kit hyphen hyphen release so here the command is like flutter build web it will build a web application and then we have to make it as a web renderer and then we have to use a canvas kit because in the canvas kit it will be very smooth with the animations and if you are having a complex ui then it will be rendered very smoothly in the browser and then we have to put here command for the release so that it will give us the release build so in the release build it will be like a faster one and with the compressed version and if we make it as a debug here then the build size will be more as compared to the release one so now we will press the enter here so the build is generated so what we will do we will just go to this folder and we will just drag all these files and we will drag it to our aws and here we will drag it to our AWS bucket we will drag from here and we will put here and from here we will just click on the upload so all the file has been uploaded so now we will click here in the bucket so here we have to do some setting here first of all we have to enable the static website hosting and for doing that we have to go to the properties and here we have to go to the bottom here you will see static website hosting and here we will click on the edit now we will enable it and here in the index document we have to put here index.html same for the error also we will put here index.html because this is the page which is generated for the web so now we will click on the save changes so next what we have to do we have to do some permissions we have to do the bucket policy and all and for doing that we have to go to the permission tab and here we will go to the bucket policy and here we will click on the edit so here we have to put some json here I will copy and I will paste here. So JSON will be like, we have to put the version here, then we have to put the statement here. Inside the statement, we are having an ID with the dollar sign. That will be public read cat object and that policy will be used like whenever anyone try to access our website. And with this S3, then it will be allow user to publicly accessible. So that's why we are giving the permission here and it will be effect will be allow principle will be star that will be accessible by anyone then action will be s3 cat object and the resource we have to change this bucket name with your bucket name and this is our bucket name and we will just paste here so now what we have to do we have to just save the changes here so now we have to access our website and for doing that we have to go back to our properties and here in the bottom of our static website hosting we are having this link here we have to just click on this link we will click this one so here you can see our, our invoice generator web application is working here perfectly fine so if i put anything here if i put any data here and here if you will see total amount is 110 and if i change here to 200 you can see here the amount is also getting changed but this generate pdf will not work because it is having some plugin which might be not compatible with our web application so you have to make sure if you are making any web application in the flutter you have to make sure the plugin which you are using will be compatible with your web also so that it will work in the browser so in this way you can easily 
deploy your Flutter web application in the AWS. You can also link this S3 bucket to your domain also. And if you want, I can make a separate video for that also. Please let me know in the comment box section. I will make another video for that. So that's all in this video. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, comment, share. I will come back soon with another awesome video. Thank you for watching the video.